so uh, I just arrived at the Kunming Airport. Okay, this is Kunming, China. So, uh, from Kuala Lumpur, my flight was at 1.05 p.m. And I arrived here at uh, 5 p.m. Yeah. So, it's a 5 hours uh, flight. 5 hours journey. Yeah? And so, let me uh, check in and then we will continue more time to I just can't wait to explore Kunming there's a lot of uh, best uh, tourist spots so I will just uh, show you okay well um, I done check in and uh, so uh, What happened was uh, there's a lot of CCTV. Seriously, <laughs> there's a lot of CCTV around. And uh, during the passport check, uh, they have this machine to uh, uh, what do you call for the fingerprint. So you know you have to put uh, your four fingers and uh, thumb, uh, thumb print and stuff. <laughs> and uh, that was. Uh, Bahasa Melayu, yeah. So uh, that one is in uh, Bahasa Malaysia, yeah. So uh, the machine was, uh, you know, talking in uh, BM, and then it was really uh, something, you know, something to proud of being a Malaysian. You know, uh, that's uh, our national language is in uh, Kunming, China. Use in the airport, so really cool. Seriously, okay. So, uh, I'm going to check my bags and I'll continue the video later. So, uh, I'm here uh, outside the airport, and uh, looks like it's, uh, they're having some. Uh, language problem they doesn't know how to speak uh, English and uh, they use the gadgets they use the phone to uh, do the translating and uh, you know um, just now was uh, a little bit of a uh, hassle because uh, there's one I don't know there's one stranger a guy uh, he's like uh, asking me to uh, he wanted to fetch me and send to the hotel for free and then I was like, no, I'm going to take uh, a taxi or, or Uber or something, but there's no Uber service here. And uh, it was, um, I was, I don't know what to say. I freaked out and uh, I'm here now to take the taxi and to go to the hotel. Yeah. Seriously, that was... Uh, scary <laughs> that was scary uh, I don't know who's that you uh, know guy you know waiting for uh, degrees and then suddenly come and approach you know you know if you're traveling alone you have to be careful and uh, especially when you're a girl <laughs> okay so uh, I'll be going to the hotel and then uh, I'll get back to you guys okay bye
don't really know what he's talking but uh, I try to figure out what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm back. So um, basically, yeah, it's already dark as you can see. And uh, now I am at uh, nearby my hostel. Okay, so backpacker hostel and uh, I'm here nearby a uh, place to eat. Okay, there's some, uh, you know, mini restaurants. They have uh, uh, barbecue, uh, you know, it's all, uh, you know, like uh, pork and uh, non-halal, uh, you know, things like that. All kind of uh, foods are here. And then uh, mostly they have like uh, noodles, you know rice noodles and stuff like that so uh, basically uh, this is my uh, this is the person from the hostel so she's actually uh, uh, guiding me you know she's very helpful and uh, she's showing me the places and uh, you know the things to eat and stuff so tomorrow I'll be going to uh, Dong Chuan Okay, that is a red land okay it's very beautiful it's a uh, something like a hill place and uh, it's something like a, a flat land uh, with uh, multiple colors you know red red and greens and yellows and oranges like that so if you google up about Dong Chuang red land okay you can see uh, what it's all about and then the day after I'm going to stone forest which is um, a mountain, I guess. It's full of. Uh, it looks like a stone and something special. So I will uh, show you uh, on the next video. Maybe maybe need to some A F. Yes. So um, this is the bicycles. Okay, they have. Uh, like for everyone to use and using WeChat and by scanning on the bike something like that and it can move right yeah, yeah. okay that's great cool <laughs> okay if you want to uh, go somewhere and you want to stop okay so the bike is for around Kunming around this area uh, yeah. But you can't go far, right? Uh, uh, if you if you go uh, by, by bicycle, it's bicycle to go far, and you can stop. You can stop, and you can uh, stop the bicycle to anywhere, everywhere, mm -hmm. and you can go. So uh, actually now she's uh, showing me where is the bus station so that tomorrow morning I can take the bus and uh, go to Dong Chong. Okay so uh, that is uh, the Kunming station. I hope you can see. <laughs> so that's the station. And uh, we find the bus station is in front of the Kunming station. In front of the Kunming station is here. And I'll go, go to there. In front of the Kunming station, we can find the bus station. And you okay. can take the 23 bus. 23, yeah, 23 bus. And to the final station. Final station is the north. north Bus station, and you can take the bus to go to your ticket. Oh. Okay, so um, it's gonna take like four hours, right, to Dongchuang. I need to find out uh, what is in RM. <laughs> so, if you remember the. Yep. Coming 
station niya. Okay, so the buses will be Oh, uh, just station. just wait there for the bus. And then you want to go oh, wow. to the local? Yeah. The local station. You also can take the bus. Oh, yeah. okay. Go there. Hmm. Have a look to find the uh, 23. Oh, wow. Look at the city. Full of lights. <laughs> Oh, the yeah. Yes, you can go there to take the 23 bus and go okay. to the final station. Uh huh. Okay, that's nice. I'm telling you, she's really a good guy. You know, I mean, like, no, no hostel uh, uh, staff will do this, you know. She's walked all the way to just to take, a, you know, help me to take away food and also show me the bus station it's like uh it's not really far from the hostel but uh it's around 10 minutes walk but pretty cool i really like this service seriously <laughs> so tomorrow you can go there for waiting to waiting for the 23 bus and you can go to the 23 bus the north bus station Okay. The north the bus, bus station. Ah, yes, north. Okay. North bus station. Then I take another bus. Uh, yeah. Uh, we seem to, seem, the same is the final station. Final station. Ah, yes, okay. Final, final station. station. And then you uh, take, take another the bus to go, go to Dong Chuan. Yes. Okay. okay. But they have a number. The bus there. No. You just see you. You need they to will, go there okay, and they will buy tell. the ticket. Okay. Ah, yes. Understood. Do you remember it? Yes, I remember. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> it's wonderful. But tomorrow you need to uh you need to yuan. Two yuan. Two yuan. Oh yes. Okay. Two yuan, yuan is for? To, for for the bus the uh, take the bus you need to yuan. Oh okay, okay. So uh, so that is my transport because otherwise if I take uh, the taxi to Dongchuang it's going to cost me about 175 uh, yuan that is only one way and if you go two ways uh, then you need to calculate yourself <laughs> two ways will be uh, 175 times two okay so it's going to be costly so that's why I decided to take uh, the bus doesn't uh, matter. Uh, it's cheaper, you know, compared to you know, it's way too cheaper, and it's worth it. But yeah, you, I know, you, you know, like travel by car is more faster, but it's better to take the bus. So, wow. The city is like, you know, full of lights, like something like Macau. I feel like I'm in a mini Macau right now. Well, anyway, this video uh, is quite shaky, so because I'm holding one hand, there's no cameraman with me. Totally a budget type. <laughs> So there's a lot of bikes and bicycle around here. And guess what? The bikes they don't have uh, you know the bike kind of sound. It's like so smooth. The sound is like so smooth and silent. I mean, the feel is different over here, I tell you. Now, so we are on the way to back to the hostel. So, once I'm back to the hostel, I have my dinner and uh, shower. 
go to bed wake up early in the morning so that I can uh, get ready for dom so I'm in the lift now and uh, on the way back to the hotel okay, it's actually a very tall building and uh, if you want to go in you have to you know type in the keyword and then enter and the lights here is like uh, it's a sensor lights so if someone is walking in then only the lights will be on For the first time, I'm eating with chopstick. Oh my god, I made it! Okay, let me try to eat with the chopstick right now. Seriously, I really don't know. So I'm not lying. Okay, so I'm with a bunch of people here. Okay, let me eat my dinner. I'll catch you later. Right. So, uh, this is some photographs that uh, they have, and uh, so just going through some of the photographs here. All different places of the Kunming. <laughs> this must be the night market. <laughs> Some native uh, people, are, um, some agriculture. <laughs> and this is in Tibet. It's not in Kunming, it seems so. It's cute here, love. Yama. And uh, yeah, a few pieces. Lovely photographs.
this is spring season and uh, it's a uh, lucky me because uh, I came at this time because uh, the flower park uh, will be really really happening fully bloomed and uh, it will be very very lovely so I just can't wait to go so I'll be going there uh, on, on the second Today is the first day, so today nothing much because I just landed like uh, evening about 5 pm and then uh, I'm here at the hostel and then had dinner, so nothing much can do because because the places that I want to go, you have to go really early uh, and some parks will close at 6 pm. So it's not really worth it to go in a rush. So I decided to go. Better to go the next day. So tomorrow I'm going to Dong Chuan. I'm going to wake up uh, early in the morning. So going there because the journey is going to be like all together 8 hours. 4 hours to go and 4 hours to come back. So uh, yeah. So I'll be videoing there and show you the place, how it looks. Really can't wait. It's going to be very very beautiful. I can feel it as seen on Google, hope so. <laughs> and um, day after, what, uh, where I'm going to go is Stone Forest. The one I told you, that uh, the hills or mountains look like stone. If you Google it, uh, Stone Forest Kunming, China, then you will know how it looks. So there, also same, uh, quite distance. If I'm not mistaken, about two or three hours. Then uh, I'll be actually staying back to see some performance because over there they will have some uh, traditional uh, Kunming uh, performance, you know. So they'll be uh, dressed up with uh, their uh, traditional attire. They will be wearing, I mean, uh, they have uh, the costumes for the tourists as well for you to wear and uh, take a picture. So I just really can't wait to do all that things. And then on the third day, uh, nothing much. I'm just going to chill around and then go to the airport. Right to but on the second day, on the stone forest day, uh, I go there so then uh, the next one on the same day it's, uh, on the same day itself I'll be going to Lao Yuhi Lao Yuhi Wetland Park here. so that one uh, if you google you can see uh, it's a flower park full of flowers all kind of flowers you can see mainly is tulips and you're gonna feel like uh, it's a mini Holland or something. <clears throat> it's really lovely as well. Yeah, I can't just wait to you know, see all these things. So uh, definitely I will video all that and show you guys. And you're all really gonna have fun. And from, from all the videos that I'm doing right now, Trip. Uh, so those who are actually uh, love, uh, you know, uh, to go for trips, love to travel, uh, you know, people like you can actually have uh, some, uh, you know, uh, how to say, uh, warm up. Yeah. By seeing this video, you will have a warm up. Actually, the, the, you know, the, at least half of the experience how it's going to be. Depends, you know, like the hostel because I go for budget. Okay, because the thing is, uh, I'm traveling. I'm I'm sites. 
person who loves to sightsee. Sightseeing, okay? And then um, I love to uh, explore, learn the culture, learn the everything, you know? Uh, what uh, the people are doing, how, uh, how their lifestyle, and uh, the buildings, the history, everything, yeah? So uh, basically, that's what I'm doing uh, for traveling. And also, by this video, you can see how exactly what's all about coming. And uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and uh, be continuing, uh, continuing to do more videos. I think it's already 8.30 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, oh yeah, basically, uh, the timing, don't be surprised, China and Malaysia is totally the same. Yeah, yeah you have to trust me. So, the time is exactly the same. If you don't believe, you can Google it. Yeah, talking about the uh, currency, it's a uh, 54 ringgit difference, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so like uh, the hotel here is if in uh, ringgit Malaysia is about 82 ringgit only. Okay, for that is for not per night, okay. That is for 3 nights, yeah. Okay, so that is uh, for 3 nights, 82 ringgit only. Because, you know, it's no point, you know, checking in to the expensive hotels, luxury, things like that. And then ended up, you know, you'll be, you know, spending on the hotel. And then, if you want to, you know, especially the person who are budgeting, you want to go many places, you want to see many things, you want to learn, and many things you want to explore here and there. Seriously, just get a nice and cozy and cheap that's all you need, you know, a place for you to shower and sleep, that's all, you know, you don't have to go for a very expensive place to stay, you know, or just for a few days, this thing actually, it's wasting time, money and energy, because, um, if the, unless, if, like, the person, like, uh, you know, they don't want to go around, they just want to stay in the hotel and just only chill in the hotel. Yeah, some people they do that. So I don't know how, how it is, but anyway, they, they, some people they love to go for holiday in such a, uh, how do they, uh, that type of uh, vacation you see, drink, uh, you know, drinking alcohol, just staying in the hotel and chilling and just around there and then they'll just go back um, I don't know what to say uh, I don't, uh, I'm not I'm not uh, criti criticizing or what because uh, some people are like that they are vacation you know they, they vacation means like that for them you know so for me travel vacation holidays totally meaning totally with meaning is very different very different thoughts that than usual people if i go travel okay the thing is what i'll do first thing i don't know how to start you know how how to tell to you i don't know you have to check the weather the date the flight Okay, the destinations that you want to go, you want to survey the map, okay, the route, the, uh, the distance, the food, the currency, uh, did I mention everything or did I miss out anything? Hmm. What else? The hotel, place to stay, every single thing you have to check. Before you go, that is well prepared. 
And one more thing is, if uh, you are the type of adventurous like me, and that's the best part, what you can do is, uh, you can actually Google about the place that you want to go, what are the activities they have for the tourists. That is one. And then uh, you uh, find out uh, the ticket, the price, and also the... Uh, the transport yes the transport what apps they are using for the public transport and uh, you know the distance from the hotel to the uh, stations and many things many things you really need to do a uh, research <laughs> okay so this is uh, <laughs> your hi <laughs> roommate <laughs> oh roommate yeah <laughs> you're, so you're not the staff here is it you're not working here oh okay sorry <laughs> You come from? Um, traveling. Oh, okay. From also China? Yeah. I see. From different part of China. You know Canton? Yeah, I heard of it, but I uh, never been before. <laughs> so you'll be here around uh, how many days? Bad. She can speak English. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. At least, it's okay. I mean, like, at least you can speak. You see, like myself, I don't know Mandarin. I don't know Cantonese. I don't know any Chinese language. Seriously, I'm and I'm a Malaysian. You know, I don't know how to speak. Please don't laugh at me, please. Yeah, uh, I'm a solo traveler. Uh, actually, uh, to get more experience in other countries, the culture, the people, want to learn their lifestyle, the food, everything I want to learn uh, by traveling alone is actually uh, is one of my my own idea. You know, rather than uh, going by group, because if by going alone, uh, it, it actually uh, to test my patience to, to challenge myself how, how far I can go so that is what uh, you know I've been traveling since past. I think I just started about two or three years back if I'm not mistaken yeah so I've been traveling here and uh, alone yeah first I went to India and then I went to Thailand Cambodia, Vietnam, By the way, I'm, I'm from Malaysia. If you don't know, I can tell in a very uh, understanding way is Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, see? Yeah, because uh, I know Chinese people, when they pronounce Malaysia, is like not like Malaysia, you know, and like they say Malaysia. Uh, then only they can understand. The student, I'm only working. Yeah. But even though I'm working, I always learn. Never stop learning, you know. I'm always forever student. Whole life is student learning all the time. <laughs> I just four days only. <laughs> yeah, just four days. Most of my trips are actually very short. So that I can. I just because I don't go at every place in Kumi. I will just uh, I'll do research first. I'll Google. I'll see whether uh, okay what is the best attraction. So I'll think okay I'm going this. Uh, okay I'm going that. I'll do a list. Actually I'll take note. I'll take note and then I'll do some write ups. Adventurous, being adventurous. He's really awesome, seriously. <laughs> okay, I think the video is going too long. I have to save up for tomorrow and day after. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I'll continue soon. See you all. Uh,